Hi. Uh, today, we're, it was part of our business spotlight program. I'm with Laura, and she's the owner and brand designer of a core brand design. So over to, over to you, Laura. What what is it you do, and for how long have you been doing it? Hi. Uh, thank you, Kevin, for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here. So I am a brand designer, and um, I focus on logos and uh, creating uh, branding for companies in health and wellness industry. Um, I've been uh, doing this for uh, about two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, my journey in graphic design started actually in 2019. I started uh, to study here in Dublin at the uh, Dublin Institute of Design. And after I graduated the following year, I started to do freelancing for my friends and then started to build up from there to small companies. And I started with small projects like logos, stationary design, like business cards or letterheads, uh, going to flyers and brochures or posters or whatever, uh, you know, the client needed. Yeah. And um, I also, in the meantime, I, I enrolled to a community called uh, Yes, I'm a Designer. It's a graphic designers community. Um, right. that uh, helped me with briefs and clients. Like I learned so much uh, doing that over that period, like was a year or a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And when COVID hit, I was still having my full-time job uh, as a front desk receptionist at that time. I uh, realized that I wanted to do a change. And um, I realized that uh, what I was doing as a part-time wanted to become a full-time and... Um, that's when was the first time I uh, had this idea to open my own company. But of course, like it took me a while to decide that because I was, you know, scared. It was out of my comfort zone. I didn't have any sales background whatsoever. And um, mm -hmm. I was just how I'm going to, to pull this off by myself. But then I just said, I realized that I want to do what I love and also help people. Mm -hmm. by doing that and um, I took the decision and so far it's been terrifying and exciting in the same time <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'm cool. so happy and I'm glad that I took it because it's a new world for me and I'm just happy to to be in this moment and learn every day step by step to to grow further fantastic fantastic bro. yeah and uh, so who, who would you say is your best customer or type of customers uh, my ideal client uh, will be a female, let's say 35 years old, owning a yoga studio, um, having different kind of activities like going to nature or um, sports in general. Like I'm looking uh, very much at hobbies to see what kind of, uh, you know, activities they do in their free time to kind of attract the client and um, make them feel that they are understood and you know I know what what they are looking for and um, usually it's more like a holistic approach you know kind of um, connection with nature uh, doing different uh, type of uh, alternatives that uh, you know we don't find or not that we don't find maybe they're not um, as common used as before now with covid people uh, are trying to find more the sense of belonging and mm -hmm. connection and yeah. that's what i'm trying to focus like finding these clients that try to convey this message and try to be authentic and um, be themselves basically and uh, try to engage with the customers in a more real way in a, in a way that they feel connected and they feel they they are seen and understood fantastic that's that's absolutely brilliant well you kind of kind of answered my next question where we were saying were there any business changes you considered that COVID-19 made a necessity but you actually had the the courage to to open a business during the middle of yes that. that was actually the I think it was the biggest challenge and it still is the biggest challenge but for me was to realizing that stepping out of my comfort zone it's actually not a bad thing and that's where I learned the most and all the thoughts and everything was based on fear that wasn't real. It was only on my in my head. And once I stepped in and I start doing the work and I showed up for myself every single day, which I still do, um, I can see the results and it, I cannot stop now because I've seen where I'm coming from and I've seen 
this huge journey and um, the opportunities that you have, I realized that this is the only way. Uh, if for me it means to be out of my comfort zone, definitely that's the way to approach that. So definitely. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you know, and again, I suppose the one one of the acronyms I suppose I like of fear is um, stands for false expectations appearing real. You know, and uh, yes. you're you're epitomizing it there, which is fantastic. Um. And of the actions you've taken, you know, started your business and all that during COVID, did COVID have an impact on how you're doing your business? And, you know, will that be, remain part of your business going forward? I think COVID helped a lot with my business uh, uh, going uh, more, expanding my clients' network because I used to have clients more from Ireland and Romania. That's where I'm from. But mm -hmm. with COVID and everything, I think people uh, kind of start to feel more confident with all these Zoom meetings. Mm -hmm. And I started getting clients over United States, for example, or Greece oh. or Spain, or like all over the world. And um, for me, I think that's a huge opportunity because uh, there are clients that I will never meet in real life, like hardly. And um, to have these uh, Zoom meetings for me, it's easier. Like I could be anywhere. They don't care if I'm in Ireland or wherever I am. They just care about the project being done. And uh, definitely for, for me, for this business, it helps. And uh, I think I'm going to, to stay on this path uh, with the Zoom meetings. Of course, if somebody wants to meet me, let's say if it's from Dublin or around Dublin, I would love to, I don't mind. But uh, I've seen that uh, the approach is more towards the Zoom meetings rather than face-to-face, -face, especially for saving time, resources and everything. <laughs> Yeah, it is definitely. Yeah, I mean, I know there's a debate going on about face to face meetings and are, are they kind of more, I don't know what, real or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely the Zoom or Teams or Google Hangout Meets or whatever, they're more, more efficient. We can get more yeah. done this time. Certainly in my business, that, that's, that's the way I'm, I'm going. Certainly we'll be staying that way. Um, but yeah, no, brilliant. So, you, you know, you're a multinational business. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually, that's my goal. I, I love working with different kinds of people and cultures. I love learning about new words. And for me, it's like an inspiration to have the opportunity to connect with so many people, you know, from, from home, basically. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, Laura. And so, I mean, there's, you know, we've already touched on it, but maybe, and, and no doubt we've had hundreds of learnings, but what's your biggest learning since you've been a business owner? Um, more like from the business side or just, uh, yeah. From either, the business. either way, business and or personal. Okay. Um, well, personal, like, like I said, uh, I'm an introvert, okay? So for me, it's very hard to put myself out there. Okay. So that was a big challenge to, to market myself, to sell myself, how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to be confident enough to, you know, attract customers. So I had to learn that and uh, I had to talk with people around me. Uh, I also enrolled in a... Uh, academy called Aventive Academy that helped me understand a bit about the business side uh, on on graphic design actually on my industry because like I said I had no clue whatsoever I didn't have any business background before mm -hmm. so I had to do something about it so I started this course that uh, kind of um, helped me understand basically it, it showed me like a um, structure on how should my business uh, look like um, about contracts because mm -hmm. I didn't have any clue how that works and I just wanted to to make sure I have that because that's an insurance for my company but for the client as well that is getting whatever they asked for so um, uh, on this journey on this path of trying to put myself out there I try to learn from the very best in industry I thought that's the path that I should follow mm -hmm. and I still feel like I have a lot to learn, but um, now from where I uh, started, I feel like I'm more confident in um, trying to sell myself. And so that's, that's a huge step for me. Now uh, about business, what, what I've learned, um, I think um, the, most, the most important 
thing that I learned it's uh, um, how to connect marketing marketing strategies yeah okay because, uh, like I said this is not something that uh, I was familiar before so I'm all about branding because that's what I do but then okay I have the message I have the visuals I have the name I have everything and now what I'm doing with this how do I reach people so uh, LinkedIn uh, helped me that's where I spend most of my time because that's where my clients are and um, writing articles uh, doing uh, kind of uh, not kind of podcasts but uh, I'm starting uh, with with my clients uh, trying to record the testimonials that I will post soon yeah. uh, trying to reach through every every touch touch point uh, to the audience and make sure that you know I'm seen and heard and I mean people might excellent 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 well done and are there any offers uh, you want to include in, to our listeners uh, in, in in our newsletter um offers that I'm I'm providing yeah uh, well I can help, like I said, with uh, logos, with um, uh, stationary design, um, brand strategy. If somebody is looking to uh, update their messaging, or maybe they don't have that clear yet, or about their uh, mission and statement or uh, values of their company, um, or that their name is not working anymore, they want a complete rebrand, which means changing their name or changing their uh, whole logo and visuals, I can provide all that. No fantastic, fantastic. And just to round up, uh, Laura, what, what is most inspiring to you today? Um, what inspires me is connecting with people. That's where I get my energy and my good uh, vibes. And I feel that uh, whenever I have the opportunity to meet new people that maybe are is there outside of my area or maybe we have things in common, I feel that we can always learn from each other. And it's a great way to grow together and to connect because nowadays, since COVID, you know, we feel like we, we kind of fell apart a bit, you know, isolating ourselves and even though sometimes it's only through zoom it helps a lot not being in your own head and um, connecting with people i think it's the the most important thing because from there when you build a relationship you can also uh, build greater things like helping each other their their business or whatever problem problems they have but i think at the root we should uh, focus on on that on building the relationship so that that inspires me fantastic listen it's been great talking to you today laura and uh, thanks again for taking the time thank um, you so much for inviting me it was a pleasure <laughs>